Welcome to Aorta Cope and AHTV. I'm Karen Anderson, co-founder of Aorta Cope, and I'm also a type A and type B dissection survivor. And with me is... My name is Greg Aaron Greenberg. I am the director of community relations with Aorta Cope and also a type A and type B survivor. And this is our Week in Review. Welcome to the Week in Review for the week of June 7th, and we start with Topic Tuesday. There's always a discussion in the community about our follow-up tests. Which is better, CT, MRA, or an echo? What about a TEE or Doppler? Below is a link to some information about a few of the tests that some of you might experience. Today is Talk About Yourself Thursday. Many of us have a secondary illness to our or aortic disease or comorbidity. This can include migraine, exhaustion, PTSD, lupus, RA, etc. On social media, we post that we want the world to see us, not necessarily the real us. Make yourself known, show how you feel, don't hold back. If we are happy, Shout it out to the world. If we feel terrible, shout even louder. Never any judgments here. Then check out the article below from The Mighty by Aaron Migdol Tal 18 Things People with Chronic Illnesses Want to Post on Facebook But Don't. Here are a few that really resonate with us. Why won't anyone ever ask me if I'm okay? I see all the people online, but I am all alone. I feel safe at home, but wish someone will reach out and talk to me. I'm afraid to reach out because I don't want to bother people. Just because I plow forward to get things done doesn't mean I'm okay. It takes me three days to recuperate for just one hour of housework and one week to recuperate for just a half a day of food shopping. I always wanted to have one of my jobs in my about section to be fighting for my life full time because writing appeals, making phone calls, picking up meds, managing medication appointments, infusions, emergency room visits, that is my full time job. My actual job takes up less of my life. I just wish I could talk about my illness without being told to stop exaggerating or being overly negative. Or people saying, oh, I have a bad knee, sore back, sore shoulder, etc. Most of them will get better, but I won't because chronic illness is my life. I know you are trying to be helpful. A please stop suggestion. It would be good for me to get back into the world again. That socializing voluntarily and working is all I need to do. Stop saying, of course, you will be miserable if you sit around home all day. If being out there help, I will be out there. I'm just so tired of being strong all of the time, of saying I'm fine when really I'm not. I'm tired lonely, in pain, and some days just done. But out of a desire to make someone else feel better, to not make others uncomfortable, I just say, I'm fine. And the final one that really resonated with us is, if you see me on the beach, in a restaurant, horseback riding, attending events, etc., understand it took everything I had that day to do those things and was very proud to participate. However, my illness keeps me from living life to the fullest 95% of the time. I choose to celebrate the good and not dwell on daily pain. Do not mistake my good days for being able, cured, getting better, etc. What is today? Oh, it's Forgetful Friday. The struggle is real when it comes to pump head. But what exactly is pump head? In Scientific American, Bruce Stutz explains in his article, Pump Head, Does the Heart-Lung Machine Have a Dark Side? The following. The heart-lung machine first used on humans in 1953 revolutionized coronary surgery by giving doctors an hour or more to operate on a still heart. Previous techniques only allowed 15 minutes. Since the inception of the machine, medicine has recorded cognitive decline in patients hooked up to it. 
The condition, later nicknamed pump head, was thought to be short-lived and often attributed to the general trauma of surgery. Recently, long-term studies of patients have shown that pump head may worsen over time and persist for years. Many factors could be involved, but microscopic cell debris and bubbles generated by the machine are under suspicion. To learn more about one man's experience with the machine and subsequent pump head, check out the article below. We conclude the week with Swag Sunday. We want to highlight our collaboration with Lawrence Hope Jewelry. We were so lucky to be able to have Tara Cohen from Lawrence Hope on with us for Ladies Night this past Thursday. And you can check out that event itself by clicking the link below. But to summarize, it is important to consider wearing a medical alert bracelet, whether you have an aneurysm, dissection, or both. This will help a first responder treat you accordingly if your emergency is related. Lawrence Hope always offers generous discounts. However, when you make a purchase using the link we provided below, Aortic Hope will receive a portion of the sales. 100% of that money will be used towards the initiatives that we do inside the community. That concludes our Week in Review. Thank you for joining us here at AHTV. My name is Greg Aaron Greenberg. And I'm Karen Anderson. Please click like and subscribe below and don't forget to thrive, not just survive. Masks are a very important part of our daily life. So why not, as we say, start a conversation about aortic disease with your very own aortic hope face covering. These have been created by one of our very own hope ambassadors and fellow dissection survivors, Diane Bishop. You can use the link below and click on that to take you to the forum and order yours today with a $10 donation. Your choices include either sparkly mask or a matte mask in choices of pink, red, or purple. So order yours today. Supporting Aortic Hope has never been easier. Just select Aortic Hope as your charity of choice when you shop at smile.amazon.com and Amazon donates a portion of your purchase to us at no cost to you. We recently found an amazing product and we would like to share with you the story of how Health Belts came to be. It was created by a woman named Susan who has a son with complex medical issues. Susan found that she always needed to be prepared in case of an emergency because she never knew when that next emergency could occur. And since her son was a baby, she always found ways to have his medical information on hand. It was very easy to just pin it to her, his diaper bag or actually to the car seat. But as her son grew, she no longer needed a car seat and she became at a loss as to where to pin the information. So it just made sense to her to put it on his seatbelt. In 2015, she decided she was going to invent one. And so she introduced the health belts in February of 2016, and they were an instant hit, not only in the United States, but internationally. She's very humbled at the thought of so many lives potentially being saved because of her health belts. She has had numerous messages relayed to her of what could have been a tragic accident, but emergency responders were given the proper information about how to handle the situation because that information was right in front of them. Susan and Aortic Hope's number one priority is to provide a great product for you at a reasonable price. It shouldn't cost a fortune to protect yourself and your loved ones. Let's take a look at some of these products. So the original product actually came in a felt material with buttons and snaps on the back. New for 2021, Susan has added padded belts and they're still just as simple and machine washable. You simply fold them over your seatbelt, they Velcro and that's it, they're in place. And what's great about these belts is they come with a medical information card folded up on the inside that allows you to include the medications you're taking, the condition you have, as well as any allergies that you might experience and your emergency contact information. Now these belts come in three separate colors, yellow, red, and black. And they also come in your choice of saying, thoracic aortic aneurysm, abdominal aortic aneurysm, aortic dissection survivor, or medical alert, which is perfect for anyone in your family with any type of important medical condition. So don't forget to check out the link below and grab some for yourself today.
Oh, and with a $15 donation, $20 internationally, you can grab some today for yourself. And that price also includes shipping. So check out the link below. Here at Aortic Hope, we offer virtual support groups for the aortic disease community. On the first Tuesday of every month, we offer an afternoon session that takes place at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We offer our nighttime session on the last Wednesday of every month, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Some nights there might be a guest speaker or a live demonstration, but every session we will spend time supporting each other and discussing a variety of topics pertaining to aortic disease. It is important to remember that Aortic Hope and the support group facilitators are not medical professionals or therapists, and we will not provide medical advice of any kind. All participants are encouraged to share their personal experience or listen to the stories from others. You can always email us at supportgroup at aortichope.org for more information. Aortic Hope is so excited to share with you our collaboration with Lawrence Hope Medical ID Bracelets. In 2001, Lawrence Hope introduced the very first interchangeable medical ID bracelet and overnight, people who had grudgingly worn or even decided not to wear the standard traditional medical metal ID bracelets of the past suddenly had attractive, durable, stylish options that they could enjoy wearing and change to suit their mood, outfit, and activity. Today, more than 500,000 people wear Lawrence Hope Medical ID bracelets, and they're proud to say that their number just keeps growing. Are there ever-expanding line of medical alert bracelets, necklaces, anklets, charms, and bag tags is always on trend, made to the highest quality and guaranteed to meet your needs and expectations. Many people in our community should be wearing a medical ID bracelet, and Lawrence Hope actually offers bracelets for men, women, and children. I'm gonna take a second and show you mine. What I think is so great about this bracelet is you can buy the ID tag with two rings on either side, which allows you to make it interchangeable. So when I bought my bracelet, I actually picked up two or three other bracelets that I could attach to the tag. So it's very versatile and it's very easy to wear and it's pretty stylish too. When you shop at Lawrence Hope, please use the promo code Aortic Hope, one word, and you'll receive a 10% discount. Check out the link below.